uh, the election was not stolen by fraud. And uh, I haven't seen anything since the election that changes my mind on that, including the 2000 Mules movie. <laughs> Well, maybe you can uh, assess that 2,000 mules and people are talking about that. Well, I mean, just in a nutshell, you know, I just think that the GBI was unimpressed with it. And I was similarly unimpressed with it. There is a, a moment from the, the January 6th hearings where Bill Barr was talking about uh, the documentary Dennis D'Souza's documentary, which we talked about before on the show, 2000 Mules, that apparently blows the lid off this whole thing when it comes to election fraud and conspiracy and how the Democrats stole the election with a bunch of people stuffing ballot boxes. Um, so as you saw again, Bill Barr was laughing about the premise of this movie, but he continued on and explained why. Because I think if you, because uh, I was holding my fire on that to see what the photographic evidence was, because I thought, well, hell, if they have, a lot of photographs of the same person dumping a lot of ballots in different boxes, you know, that's hard to explain. Um, so I wanted to see what the photographic evidence was, but the uh, cell phone data is, is singularly unimpressive. I mean, it basically, if you take 2 million uh, cell phones and, and figure out where they are physically in a big city like Atlanta or wherever, just, by definition, you're going to find many hundreds of them have passed by and spent time in the vicinity of these boxes. And the premise that, if, you know, if you go by a box, you know, five boxes or whatever it was, you know, that that's a mule is just indefensible. It it's indefensible if you guys who made it through that without passing out and falling asleep. Barr was talking about how it's indefensible to talk about this possibility that people could pass by in a major city, all of these ballot boxes, and you just assume that they're handing off ballots. That's the premise, and it's ridiculous. Luckily, Dinesh D'Souza is a professional, <laughs> and he responded professionally. Let's check out this tweet that he had. He says, anyone who knows anything about geo tracking, I don't mean you, he's responding to Molly Jung fast, can see what an ignoramus Barr is. On the topic, a fat guy laughing doesn't quite substitute for expertise on the topic. <laughs> We're gonna get to how the expertise was involved later because I want you guys to remember that line about the expertise on the topic when it comes to the maps. Because Molly Jong Fast did tweet that. He responded to her saying, the 2000 Mules movie is being used as a punchline by Bill Barr. Are you going to put up with this, Dinesh? So again, he's not even smart enough to realize that she's baiting him to mm -hmm. do exactly what he did because they can't help themselves. So uh, uh, more about this, you guys, because uh, as we know, Dinesh D'Souza thinks he's an expert on the topic. Maybe he is because he was once <laughs> arrested for making illegal donations um, for elections, for election fraud. So maybe he does know a lot about election fraud and maybe he can blow the lid off this whole thing because he was once a part of it. It's kind of like a criminal that flips and suddenly they can give the police the expertise on the problem that's happening. Either way it goes, Liz Cheney also had a few, uh, not chuckles, but some more debunking of this ridiculous film. Let's watch. And this, Donald Trump now, quote, clings to more fantastical theories, such as Dinesh D'Souza's debunked 2,000 mules, even as recounts in Arizona, Georgia, and Wisconsin confirm Trump lost. Just facts, but instead, D'Souza responds with this. I'd be happy to appear before the committee and debunk all the debunkers. Let's settle the issue of who's perpetrating the big lie through open debate. So again, uh, looks like Dinesh D'Souza is looking for an opportunity to stand in front of the January 6th committee to sell his movie some more because let's keep it real, that's the bottom line. He wants to sell his movie, wants more people to see it. He got mad when Fox News or OAN or Newsmax, whichever one of them is still in existence, wouldn't talk about it to the degree that he wanted them to. It's all about selling his movie and he's like, oh, January 6th committee. Uh, this is an evidence based thing, Dinesh. This isn't something where you get a chance to just go out there and debate your BS. Continuing on, um, because many people in his own party know about the, 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 the nonsense that he's peddling here. Um, but let's check out these maps. I want you guys to remember his line about the expertise of geo tracking. <laughs> this is one of the maps that was in the film. And if we zoom in on the map, something seems off is what this post said. The Dropbox site shown in the overlaid photo is one that elsewhere in the movie is described as being in Gwinnett County. But the accompanying map depicts a river running through the city which doesn't exist in Atlanta. So what exactly is this showing? A group of internet sleuths tracked this whole thing down and they simply flipped the image to discover that that's not Atlanta, it's a stock photo of a different capital. 
Moscow. It's just, it's almost like um, wow. they plan for this to be ridiculous. It's like, let's choose Moscow since we've been having all this talk about Russia and conservatives and their support for Putin and his invasion and uh, uh, the back and forth dealings with Donald Trump in Russia. He decides to use Moscow as the capital. And lastly, uh, uh, Francesca, I know you have a lot to say here. Um, when asked for comment about the movie using maps of completely different cities, True the Volts, Greg Phillips <laughs> said this. In an email to the Post, Phillips said that the movie graphics are not literal interpretations of our data. So what is data? What is data if it's not the little interpretations of your data? Hey, we have data about things, but instead we just put up maps of random cities on the other side of the world. Yeah, okay. we're not gonna tell you <laughs> that, that like that's exclusive, like a private access. That's our own data. We're just <laughs> gonna, we're gonna throw you off the scent, you know. And then when you've seen the documentary, then we'll show you the real data. That's how data works. What? <laughs> like, I first of all, hats off to whoever realized that that was Moscow. That's pretty amazing stuff to kind of zoom out and find that. Um, hats off to Dinesh for falling into mm -hmm. the trap that Molly Jong Fast said for him. And then F Bill Barr, I'm just gonna say it. I don't care if he's making fun of Dinesh D'Souza, 2000 mules, Lala, ha ha ha, it's so funny. Bill Barr, even in saying that, he was like, well, the geo tracking was all off. Which ultimately means, this is a guy, by the way, who in his memoirs about the Trump administration, his time there, said in, in being interviewed about those memoirs, said, yeah, I would vote for Trump again if he were the Republican nominee because I'm certainly not voting for Democrat and I'm gonna vote, so I'm, I would vote for Trump again. So the conclusion of Bill Barr is just, yeah, no, I'd vote for him again. And maybe next time when we're actually trying to rig this thing, we'll have better geo tracking. Because to be honest with you, all it took for someone like Barr to buy into the election lie, was just kind of a better false flag or like more of a setup and not having Dinesh D'Souza's documentary be the one to break open the case, including Sidney Powell and, you know, Mike Pillow case, dude. <laughs> yeah. Lindell. I got by it. The, by the way, again, to 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 support that point that you had about Barr and him being disgusted with, he also said that he was that Trump was detached from reality at the end of this whole uh, his whole term, and he was concerned about that. If you're concerned about the president being detached from reality, but you're willing to vote for him again, what does that say about you? Just saying.